All right, let's get started this morning. It's uh, 8.22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so right now I want to go over a couple um, updates this morning, if there really is any, and I'll probably be making another video if Mullen drops uh, any type of news or something major happens, and probably will make a video after hours too. So firstly, there um, was a new SEC filing yesterday. This is just an AK um, basically stating uh, the news that, or the press release that Mullen dropped yesterday, um, they filed an AK for it. Made a previous video that uploaded, um, late last night, right after the interview on, uh, it was a space, uh, Twitter call with, uh, David Mitchery and, uh, uh, James Taylor and Cha-Cha. Mullen is probably going to end up filing a, um, SEC filing for that, which, which is definitely, it's not, it's not... It's not negative um it's actually positive that they're doing the right thing because a lot of companies out there don't typically will file an 8k report and then nasdaq will be like hey you know what the hell is going on if you want to ever find these sec filings all you got to do is type in google um m-u-l-n space sec space filings and oh excuse me um it's going to be the first first link that uh pops up Otherwise, let's head over to uh, Stock Titan. Um, as you see, news got posted yesterday at 9.30 about the update uh, regarding the um, RODS, which uh, we made a video about yesterday. And also, Business Dad made a update video on it as well. And I believe a few other Mullen YouTubers made videos on it too, but Business Dad is the only major one um that uh made a video on it market cap is we i i do want to make a video about their market cap and the excessive reverse stock split rule i might actually make that later today um float remains the same insider ownership remains the same institutional ownership let's uh go and head over really quick uh where the hell is this uh advertisements galore um bar charts so we're going to be looking at these levels um pivot levels bar chart is a free site I, I don't even have an account with them you can just type in uh bar chart on google space m-u-l-n and uh, you basically come here pivot levels or key levels especially if you're looking at a one minute time frame or the or or really following data if if you're a long-term investor I mean, these really, you're, you're going to be more so looking at Fibonacci's, if anything, um, being a long-term investor. Me, I, I'm, um, I, I used to be a long-term investor in Mullen all throughout 2022 and early 2023, um, but I got my ass kicked and now I am primarily just holding a swing position on Mullen um, and I also day trade uh, news as well. But these are the pivot levels that we're, we're going to be looking at right now, especially on the charts. Go ahead and bring up the charts right here. So one positive thing about the interview yesterday. Um, whoopsies. Let me close out of this. Do, 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 do. Come on. Where are you? Oh, God. Give me one second. Why isn't this thing working? Come on. The one time that I actually need this thing to work, it doesn't actually work. What the, what the hell, man? Okay, there we go. Woo! Yeah, for some reason, this was not loading. <laughs> okay, so we're on the charts right now. We're on the one-minute time frame. Um, so the overall... If, if you don't want to watch the entire interview, the interview last night was about roughly about 45, I think under 50 minutes. Um, a, it was over an hour video. It took, took me a while to render. But the premise of the interview, um, if to, to really sum it up, if you are a long-term investor on Mullen, and I'm talking that you are holding a long-term position, the interview was bearish in that aspect. Because one... David and Jim did not mention about future funding. They did not mention about how they are going to be acquiring future funding. And they totally avoided that as well. Um, and they also avoided 
the question about any potential revenue coming in anytime soon. So I'm really sorry for anyone out there who's a long-term investor, but that interview did not do jack shit. Um, if you are a swing, if you are swinging Mullen or looking to day trade any positive news, last night's interview was bullish. David talked um, repetitively, focused a lot about the solid state battery, which he said that he might be releasing a video today on social media of them actually uh, using the solid state battery and showing the results that could have significant movement up in this price. Um, they also mentioned that they, they, uh, some big names were dropped in the interview as well, such as um, uh, Amazon, FedEx, UPS. Um, Jim uh, is basically head of the, um, I, I believe uh, the, uh, he's kind of like a COO um, or, or uh, he's um, operations. Operations management is, is what uh, his billet in the company is. And he was hinting at a lot of things. So if you are looking, like myself, to play Mullen for a big catalyst, it it could very well come. But looking on the charts right now, um, I ended up waking up at 4, uh, four o'clock in the morning. I'm, I'm a, little, a little tired, a little groggy right now. Um, as you see, about at 4 o'clock in the morning, we ended up opening up. Actually... Let's see, 4, 4 o'clock, 6.42, and then we trended up 6.44, which we'll probably definitely retry again. And now we're back at 6.42, which is not bad. So after that interview, it was not a total crash. And there was, there was quite a bit of people. There was, um, I think, 269 was the highest that the space call got yesterday, which is a decent amount of people. So, I mean, uh, MCOM, Micromobility, which is uh, OTC right now, they failed significantly. Whenever uh, their CEO would do a space call, um, they would only get maybe like 50 people. And then the next day, th their stock would be pumping or, or uh, uh, dumping. But the fact that we're not doing pretty much anything, and we're just pretty much, I would say, consolidating in this range, just hanging out over here, that's not bad. So what I'm hoping for today, and this is what I personally would like to see from my standpoint, because right now I'm currently down 10% on my position um, that I'm currently holding. If we break the all-time low, so if we break this S2, that would be bad. Um, I actually have an alert uh, that's going to go off um, like a nuclear missile, is if we break uh, 618. If we uh, actually, let me, let me, I'm going to put this actually below the S2. So 617, the S2 is at 618. If we break the all-time low and if we break the S2, that's bad. That means we, we could potentially go all the way down to the S3, which is 598. Big psychological level is $6. Um, that's huge. If we break $6, it's going to fuck up so much shit. Um, so right now we're, we are on the daily chart, which means every one of these candlesticks represents one day, um, hence, uh, the daily. So we're on the one day. We're not on the one minute anymore. Um, I actually got really nervous because I thought this was a big candlestick, which would be nice, but no, that's a drawing. Um, so as I said in my previous video, if we, if we do something really bad like catalystically if today candle today is the 14th so here is here is yesterday's candlestick and this is from a trader's point of view march 6 we basically wicked i believe a all-time low was triggered on march 6 so last week and ever since march 6 we've basically been kind of breaking away from the all-time low we pushed up now we push back down and we're basically hovering over this new double bottom we, we had a bottom all the way back in january but you can you can draw a line here and say hey and, and like i said double bottoms do not have to be perfect a lot of traders out there they're, they're very ocd and they're saying oh no it has to be perfect it has like no it doesn't have to I, i've seen i i have 
in in the last year i've swinged in day traded stocks where double tops and double bottoms um it's art does not have to be perfect at all it just has to be around the same area and what i see right here is that we are about to test a double bottom so what i'm hoping and praying um is that we get a bounce today and we basically do something kind of like this we, we we point up a little bit which would be really nice we cannot go the opposite direction today is going to really be the be all make all type day if we do this um and this is not financial advice do do whatever you know is best for you but that would just be a bad signal um that's going to be a gut check right then and there um because then from this point we're kind of breaking this double bottom that was established back in january which means now we have to form a new bottom to even out so if we can actually close above um if we just close in this range if today we end up closing anywhere from 650 which would be really good because we opened yesterday at 650 and then we closed yesterday at 640 if we close today at 650 bullish um that means that we are gonna be uh uh pushing higher or bouncing off this double bottom even if we close today at 640 again or 644 say like around this area that's not bad that means the double bottom is holding um that, that's actually very very good for a technical point of view low rsi is always the only thing that is giving me a little bit of shivers right now is this and this is tesla um i i mean we're, we're on the five minute candle range it's just it's terrible tesla you are i i don't normally update my pivot levels on tesla i, I ended up uh having some uh some share shares um a couple weeks ago um that i did did a quick uh, swing play on um otherwise the last couple weeks i have not been really following tesla but tesla is just on a kind of a death spiral right now uh tesla apple apple just got the boot out of the mag 7 apple is doing very shitty as well so if tesla goes down a, another five percent today you're gonna see stocks like uh lucid you're gonna see stocks like rivia you're gonna see the entire ev sector trend down um even though the spy yesterday was uh down uh 0.16 percent i believe but if the, it, it it's it's mullen is just moving right now a little bit of the broader market which is a good thing because typically they were not doing that the last couple years but tesla is just not our friend the, the trend on tesla is not our, our our friend man um we we gotta for for tesla out there yeah it's, they, they're just they're they're having a hard time um i can tell you that we are definitely going to retest what this this level 166 what we ended up doing at five five fifty five we're probably probably going to challenge this area down here um but if we end up breaking this this low in pre-market then we're definitely going lower and uh hopefully tesla gains back some of what they lost from yesterday uh a week and a half ago mullen out of nowhere was up by 10 percent and it was because of tesla T tesla was actually trending up the the uh the entire ev sector was moving up so right now tesla is is trending down um this is the only thing that can add pressure on mullen today the only thing unless unless mullen i if there's something bad for mullen but i think david and the board is trending extremely on thin ice so they're going to do whatever it takes to really try to push up the stock otherwise that's my technical analysis point of view we really got to look at tesla um see what they're doing and if you are invested in mullen if you're swinging mullen if you're looking to day trade mullen you got to be watching tesla you got to be seeing what tesla is doing 
Because if Tesla is shooting up by three, four, five, uh, potentially maybe seven, eight percent, you're gonna see Mullen start breaking a lot of these key areas. Um, in a big psychological level for us to actually break right now is especially seven dollars. So that's my point of view. Hopefully, you guys, whoever is watching these, uh, got some value out of it. And uh, for people that I, I think we gained a couple subscribers, thank you. Uh, much appreciated. Like I said, I'm making these videos just because I got to speak my mind because this stock is driving me crazy. And I know that a lot of you guys out there are in the same boat. Hopefully, we all make, uh, make some money back from what we lost from this stock. Otherwise, take it easy and let's uh, hopefully have a good day of trading.